This video is an addition to my previous video, the dielectric field of a bifiler coil. Uh, since I in that sh uh, video showed a uh, LED, uh, this one connected to the two diodes, and I hooked it up to the ground, and then I showed one capacitor. Uh, I now want to make this addition where I take two capacitors and connect it also to ground and see what happens. I have also a slight variation. Uh, normally I use this uh, uh, pulse generator to drive my IGBT pulse driver and it's connected with this wire to the uh, yeah, the, the pulse input section of the IGBT driver. I found out that I don't need it at all. I just can use a antenna. I have a, uh, a single lead and uh, I just hook it up to the input and I make it like an antenna stick up and then it picks up the, the, the field, the dielectric field of the uh, resonating uh, coil and when I uh, turn the IGBT on it gives an initial pulse that starts uh, the oscillation in the resonant coils and the antenna picks it up so it creates a feedback loop and it automatically goes into its resonant frequency and that's really nice because then you don't have to tune it anymore so that's a really important trick you can make it self-tuning. Now, uh, for the rest it's the same. I've got my ground connection here on one end of the coil. I added a ground lead. This white one is the ground lead that I will use to connect to uh, the points in this DC circuit. Um, the other end of the center resonating coil is going to the two diodes just like this. I have my uh, voltmeter, um, it's a thousand volt setting DC and I hooked them up here. So now I will turn on the IGBT and you see the voltage is immediately rising and uh, the lights are on so this is all in a resonant frequency. I hooked it up to the scope to see if the signal is resonant and yes it is. So uh, that's safe. So now I've got two capacitors and still if I touch them the voltage goes up and when I let go the voltage goes down. I think that's really something. 211, 211 when I let go it drops down to 188, 87. So it's quite a difference. Um, now I'm going to connect this earth lead to, let's say, the negative of the uh, voltmeter and this part. Let's see what happens to the voltage. I can hear this thing is buzzing. It doesn't like it. And the voltage is dropping, so I'm letting go. So the negative part doesn't like the earth ground. And this really strange sound, I don't know if you can hear it, but I think there's something wrong. So it doesn't resonate nicely. So now I'm going to the positive side. Again the same effect, slightly less it seems, but the voltage is dropping and I can hear the coils. So there's something going on with the resonance. Now what I've made here is a center connection. So I've got, now I haven't got this. I've got this
and I have made a connection here and I will connect that part to ground so the center of the whole circuit uh, it's back in resonance the voltage is high I will now connect it to ground and you see a immediate rise to 275 volts that's pretty much and quick also for my dad. if I now touch the capacitors there is no influence oh, slightly maybe I need to be careful because this system is able to shock me no there's no influence anymore for my field here there is when I put my hand on the coils the capacitance rises and yeah okay so the ground connection now I'll let go and it drops down again to its previous level because the diodes will short it out yeah back to the previous level now it's sensitive to my touch again so once again I will connect to earth ground 184 and 270 you see how quick the voltage rises this indicates there is a pretty big current going on because it takes time these um, two uh, capacitors are the same they are rated 6 microfarad I've got a short wire here, I will make a shortcut and you will see the sharp discharge of the energy. You can hear the coil is ringing. Voltage drops and comes back really quickly. <laughs> 